Hello, good morning. It's uh, Julia again. I'm standing this time. Um, it is Sunday um, and I wanted to answer another, perhaps a couple of questions that I got yesterday and uh, one that I got today. Um, the first one was I think from Karina, spelled C-O-R-R-I-N-A. Um, and she asked um, if I was asking these questions, then I needed to provide a platform of facts. Again, that's not a quote, that's basically what she said. So, you know, and I'm assuming what she means is that in order to start something like this, you need to have facts in the first place, okay? Um, in answer to you, Karina, we do have facts. Um, right now, I don't want to be showing too much that pertains to individual mass bailing rescues. And the reason for that is that there's a lot of litigation going on right now. And I do not want to fall into that trap of naming names. Um, so I have, have, for the moment anyway, I have decided just to keep it as a generalized. So across the board. So yes, there are facts. Um, and they will be more gathered, but um, I'm not starting this without any baseline of, of, of evidence. Um, so that was one question. I think the other one was, um, heck, what was it? Um, oh, actually, I probably just sort of answered that because what they said was, so you're not going after any individual entity you are just going up I don't want to say going after that sounds terrible doesn't it you're just um, you're just being general and again my answer is the same as Karina yes I am just for the moment being general because they all operate the same um, there's no reason for me at this point to actually go and say this rescue that rescue another rescue it is doing this 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 and this because they are they're all doing the same but what we need to do is collate from each one um, and then get that evidence on individual incidents individual um, things that have been said and it can be got we just need to, to find it and it's there so um, that's why, again, the general stuff is, is I'm sticking to right now. Um, I don't, there's not much difference between all of them, to be honest. So um, I don't feel I need to mention names at this stage. Um, and the last question, the last question I think was, um, is there a paper trail? And how do we know what happened to these horses? <laughs> That's a good one, right? Um, they say there's a paper trail. I have not seen one, but then I haven't actually asked. I do know other people have, and I do know that um, they have, some have said that they they have so many horses, so much coming in and out, going, that they cannot do this sort of thing on an Excel spreadsheet or whatever, and need an, an app to do it. Um, or and then there was another one, I think, that said, that they had a, they microchip the horses and every, um, and then that track by their cell phones, they, they can track every horse. So basically the microchip reader is attached to a cell phone, uh, which are, they're actually quite big, they're clunky little things, oh, clunky big things. Um, and they can track what has happened with each horse based on that microchip. All right, now, I am not a tech person, but what I do know is this, that the technology between a cell phone and a, a microchip, which is basically just a, a glorified bar code, um, are not the same. So they're not compatible. They don't, you can't get information other than what is written on the barcode that is inserted into the horse uh, downloaded to your cell phone to keep track of horses. It, it, it just doesn't work and I don't know whether it ever will. 
um, and you again can look that up. There are there are places, um, there are uh, companies that make um, the microchips and the microchip readers, and they will tell you that that is actually not possible. So there's these little inconsistencies that uh, you know. I don't know whether they think we're a little dim, maybe, or I am, um, but um, but these are inconsistencies. Just one exa little example. There's lots of big ones, but that's a little one. Um, that need to be kept track of um, and and that's what I'm hopefully here to do with you guys help because as I said before I can't do it alone so um, if you're still interested get in touch not many people have um, to be fair but um, there are people rescues you know good rescue what I would call good rescues actually um, posting about about this sort of thing but um which is great in of itself but i don't want it to turn into a promotional uh, that people are promoting themselves okay this is not about me um i'm not asking any money for any money for our rescue i, I it's, that's not what it's about um it's about fraud pure and simple and and the horses of course the horses that we no longer know where they are so um bear that in mind and i will try posting again um this week um i may do it tomorrow i may not so they're going to be a little bit scattered but um that's okay so if anybody has any information um then um get in touch and you can do that through our website um at our contact form um or you can um yeah i would just do it via email truth be known i wouldn't even do it by text um so uh yeah all right thanks so much guys thanks see you soon bye have a good day sunday it's supposed to be relaxing huh